Hello Taurus, this is your daily for the 15th through the 16th for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Let's see what angel prayer we have. We have you are protected, Archangel Michael. Thank you, Michael, for surrounding me with your protective light. Okay, that's our thing. Let's see what Tarot has for you guys today. My Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. Personal reading information is down below the video, guys. We have the Nine of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, and the Fool. You guys, Aries just got these same cards. Different placements, but these same three cards. Hmm. So, you know, the Four of Swords is sitting right under you are protected. I feel like a lot of you guys are very spiritual. Um, I feel like you're very good people. I think a lot of you have been hurt. And I think you're kind of like regrouping from that. Um, you may have chosen to be single trying to get your income stable, trying to get your self-confidence up, um, and just kind of like reassure yourself that it's okay to get up and move right now. I think a lot of you have taken a break from someone, somebody that hurt you. Maybe you hurt them as well. Um, maybe it wasn't Aries that did this or Libra, but I think a lot of you are thinking about maybe revisiting this situation at this point, okay? After a time of stasis. Um, I think you've been asking for guidance. I think you've been asking for healing. Um, and I think you guys are really just trying to figure out what it is or where you're going from here at this point. Um, a lot of you wanted to be single, I feel like, in the past. You felt like that was the best thing for you. Okay, so let's see <clears throat> what why you're here. Why is this happening? Okay, huh? Well, isn't that in that a coincidence, there, guys? Um, here you are, Taurus. I think before you just did not, um, like I said, you're kind of reiterating this Nine of Pentacles. Before, um, I feel like you were in a committed relationship, but I feel like at some point that's not really what you wanted okay um you felt like it would be best for you maybe to step out on your own do your own thing um maybe it was a codependent relationship maybe there was abuse in the relationship i don't know only you guys know but the point is there came a point where a lot of you guys felt like you know you wanted to be single you didn't want to be in a traditional relationship here okay but now again very spiritual energy going on here now we have the hermit um falling under the four of swords now you're seeking answers here you're seeking answers you're kind of looking back um on everything that you've been through thus far and trying to figure out you know what's your next best move here because the hermit looks for the love of their life. Let's just be clear, okay? And so I think that you are wanting to either revisit a situation or you're wanting to take a chance just on love, period, maybe with someone new, okay? Let's see what else we have for you guys. And the King of Swords, yeah. I think you're struggling um, whether or not to just you know stay in this mode a little bit longer or whether or not you want to act okay and i think that is what you are trying to figure out in between the four swords and the hermit energy it's like you're really just wanting to know what is the right thing to do okay how do you find your voice how do you find your way to do what it is that you know in your heart that you want to do. Whatever that may be for you, okay? Let's see what the influence is for you guys. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Tens are definitely endings. So I think what you're wanting to do is just kind of like, you know what? 
you know, everything that happened in the past, I just want to let it go. I just want to push forward. I just want to move on. Um, this is Sagittarius, Gemini energy. Uh, these are opposite signs as well, okay? So it could be a Sagittarius, Gemini that you are, some of you are interested in. Um, maybe Virgo. Libra, Aries, like I said, does not have to be those signs, but that's the energy that's present. But you guys just want to, you know, let bygones be bygones here. You're really struggling with that, though. You're struggling with letting go. Okay. Let's see what the outcome is here. I think you guys will start again. I think you will, um, whether this is somebody new that you're starting with, fire energy here, or whether this is something that you are revisiting, it's still going to, going to be a new start for you guys, because here's something ended that you're getting over, okay? So we have the Ace of Wands and the Ten of Wands, another completion that's Ten of Wands, you know, just being able to get over whatever has bothered you, whatever you have gone through, and just move on, Okay? So my Taurus friends, that's what I have for you. And I will be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.